Welcome back in the board game cave. Zombicide Dark Side is a prequel to Zombicide Invader. The game is out since 2019, published by Simon and Guillotine Games, and launched on Kickstarter in 2018. As you are watching Total Board Game Channel, you will also find tutor speed painting on all contents of the box and gaming videos. And now let's start with the unbox of the game. So this is the Zombicide Dark Side core box. In this box we are supposed to find all the content here. So let's start unboxing the game. We get specific token. Let's look in at the World on Mission book. We'll find the summary, the game components, the story from the Dark Side Zombie Side, and we could see here the Zombie Side Inverter. The setup of game step by step, the game overview, the basics with definitions, useful definition, line of sight for example, and specific the dark zone for dark side. Survivors can trace lines of sight to dark zones, except at range zero. However, they can trace line of sight past dark zone to other zones. Xenos ignore this rule and can trace line of sight normally. Survivors performing a range action with a prototype weapon or machine action with a machine with the prototype keyword can also trace line of sight normally. The inventory, the Xeno, the Driller Rocker is a normal Rocker, but he makes two damages if standing in an open pit zone at range 1 plus. The tank makes three damages if standing in the open pit zone, and Driller Hunter makes two damages and also have two actions. The player phase. The Xeno phase, combat with the priority targeting, starting with Dryler Tanks, Dryler Abomination, then Dryler Walker, and finally Dryler Hunter. The Special Zone and Security Rooms, Ultra Rated Mode. Playing with 7 or plus survivors and tuning the difficulty. Then we'll find 16 missions starting M0 tutorial. and chapter on skills and the index and the box you must make the code here oh it's it's wrong wow okay We have the hero data sheet. We found six boards. This board are the greater board from the Zombie Side series. Now let's looking at the board. We have the hero card at the center. 
we have prototype weapon in the left hand and starting item weapon in the right hand. We could place the starlight this way. And the energy cell to work with the prototype heavy shotgun this way. So the prototype weapon is loaded. We could place five items in the back, like that. When Miranda lose one life, we put the token from here to here. And when she have a new skill, we place the token on the skin we choose. For example here, this one free melee action. We have six red standard dices. We have the Xeno activation cards. We'll find all the equipment. We have all the token you can put on the board. We have six base color, different color, but in Zombicide Invader. You can mix easily the two games. And we found all the mini. Like in Zombicide Invader, the minis are very, very fine with tones of details and edges. I could make the Tutu Speed Paint series starting with the Xeno. Looking at the abomination. As we could see, we have a lot, lot of details and edges. The mini is very, very nice. And strong parts. Plastic is really, really full. And the base is right. Very nice job. Now let's look at the other Xeno. We have workers in different positions. Tanks. And runners. They call them hunters. And other workers, I suppose, in different positions. The mini looks great, with full of edges and very detailed, very nice. We take great pleasure to paint it. Looking a walker. Oh, it looks, it looks light. It looks nice. We have a lot of mold here, so before painting, we have a long job to make the mini great. Remove the mold. Okay. Now let's look at the cards. As we are in Zombies Hide, we get three types of cards. The Xeno activation cards, the item cards, and the hero cards. We get six hero cards. Miranda, with special skills and three life points. Miles. Umkos. Riz. Radka and Drake. We have the Xeno activation cards with a yellow back and a specific activation on the front. For example, here we get the Dryler Walker's Pawn with a specific number, for example, here 61 and 864 are two Dryler Pawn. Depends on the level of danger. We get Speed Spawn, One Dryer Hunter, One Dryer Tank, and so on.
were four types of item cards, two for the boats, more sentry gun and the Vindicator boat action. We get the mini on the side with the skill here and at the back we get the rule, the white item card for the starting items, the red one which are the prototypes and the most are the blue item cards corresponding to the standard items. For the starting items we'll find search drone, we put this item on the side like this, cutter probe, pistol, for the prototype cards we'll find the sniper rifle, the saw her hair, the light machine gun, the heavy shotgun and the assault rifle. And for the blue standard items, we'll find all this. And we have a specific activation Xeno as blue item cards. Finally, let's look at the tiles. So, we get these items. And the tiles. with light and dark room. That's it for the unboxing of the Zombie Side Dark Side Core Box. And just before leaving, I want to show you the content of the Dark Side Extra Box Stretch Goal from the Kickstarter campaign. So let's open the box. Zombie Side Dark Side Extra is a stretch goal from the Kickstarter campaign. Let's open the box. Operation Persephone. It's a book of 10 missions combining Invader and Dark Side. If you own Zombicide Invader and Dark Side, you can play the two games in this campaign, Operation Persephone. Let's look at the book. We have chapter, resume, the story, calling in the dark, presentation of the new Xenus, the Driller Blitzer. We have two action, two damage deals, and two life points, and special rules. 
rules from the scientist companion and the additional mission starting M1 emergency call. And at the back, a game, the game room summary. We have specific cards. The cards of the three companions, scientist, Lucas Pavlis, tactical expert with specific skills. The video is ending, thanks for watching, I hope you like it, on Total Ball Games you will also find reviews, unboxing and tuto speed painting on Zombicide Invaders and a lot of other board games. See you soon for the tuto speed painting on the mini of this box, have good games, have good play and goodbye!